Mitch Manamas here coming at you with another Rate My Ride Road, road Series video. Uh, we're here at the Emerald Mombok Road, um, the Mombok End. I'm here to give you a little bit of rating on it. So, first criteria accessibility. So, this is further out from, um, if you watch the last Rate My Road video, which was on Mount Danny Nong to the Mountain Highway. Uh, so this road is 10 kilometers long as you would have seen from the sign there so it's gonna be a really awkward video length I might just ride a little bit past it and just keep talking while we're there or um, I will really just slow it down a bit um, yes yeah, so accessibility for it a little bit further out, a um, little bit harder to find if you don't know your way around the local area. Um, but it is pretty close to the top end, to so the Mount Dandenong end of Mountain Highway. Um, so I'm going to go with a four. So I'm pretty sure I gave Mountain Highway a five or a six. Um, so it is pretty accessible, but um, you know. Uh, it's um, yeah, it's still a little bit out and a little bit hard to find, and there's not too much out here. There is petrol and there is cafes, but like not much choice. Um, yeah, so once again, I'll pop up a map of where we are just so people have a real good idea of where to find this road. Um, uh, what's next? Alright, uh, length. So, length 10 kilometers. We saw the sign for how far it was to Emerald from here. So, it's 10 kilometers long. Um, you know, it doesn't feel overly long. It doesn't feel, you know, like it's too short at all. It feels sort of the right length um, for a fun ride. Um, no complaints about the length from me at all, um, especially since, um, and we'll get onto that a little bit, so, yeah, the length is really good, the length is, you know, not too long, not too short, um, plenty, you know, you're not worrying about running out of petrol and stuff like that, because, you know, the accessibility is quite low, but once again, there's petrol stations around. Um, Yes, yeah, so I think length I'm going to go a 7. You know, it's a good, good length. It's not you know, too long, it's not too short, all of that. Alrighty, traffic. This road is really quiet, I've found. Um, other people might have different experiences, but every time I'm here, you know, there's barely anyone here, there's barely anyone um, on the road, and generally people are pretty polite, and they'll pull off onto those little side overtaking um, sections there so there won't be like if there is someone in front of you there won't be someone in front of you for too long um, there is plenty of those little these little um, overtaking slots here um, but you do get the occasional person who's not a local that decides that going 20 k's an hour is ideal um, and they'll just sit Kind of sit in your way and be a nuisance. Um, like how I said, I was going to take it slow and started to pick up the pace a little bit um, to make sure we get our video in one take just because I want to do some stuff on the other side without having to loop back through this road. Um, may just be I can continue talking about it um, as we go on to another road. Um, yes, yeah, so the traffic, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10, right, really quiet, only occasionally are there people in your way, 
um, especially on weekends. I think weekdays might be a little bit of a different story because it is one of the only ways between um, two sections of the hills. There is that David Hill Road which is a little fun but it's a little bit short um, to do so that next with the other end of um, at the other end of Mombok. Alright, the condition. Now in some sections of it the condition is perfect, right? Like here the road's really good, but you would have seen, especially early on, near people's driveways and stuff. Um, there's a lot of debris, there's a lot of things that can cause you to mess up, cause you to have an accident. Um, so the condition, you know, yes, yeah, so the sections where it's really good, um, even this is really good considering that's a really busy car park. Um, yes, yeah, so the condition, probably give a 7 out of 10 because there is the occasional like you can see there's a little bit of debris here um what there it's can be a little bit daunting for some people especially early on like i mean in that area you're not going to be pushing yourself anyway so it's probably not going to affect you that much but condition i'm going to go with an 8 out of 10 you know it's really good really comfortable and all that. All right, twistiness. This thing, this road is fun, right? It's got a lot of twisty parts into it and because of the low traffic you can, can push yourself. Um, the twistiness, um, so yeah, there would have been a slight interruption in the video. Um, so yeah, the twistiness is really good. Um, no complaints on that, it's really, you know, it's really good to wind through um, heaps of, you know, heaps of vision, which I think is a really important thing for a road like this. You can see sort of everything, and I just come up with an idea, I will loop around um, to make sure I hit my sort of the length that I want to make this video and get everything on this road, because I've just come up with an idea. Uh, Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so the twistiness, I'll give sort of an 8 out of 10 again. But kind of, so this road is a really good road. Um, probably its biggest thing is its accessibility um, and the sketchy conditions in some parts. Um, it's length. Length is a good length, but if you like a longer road, that might be a bit short for you. Um, chainability. This road is basically at the epicenter of so many good roads, right? Monbulk and Emerald and everything in between gives you access to so many different good, quality, fun, exciting roads. So the chain ability, I am just like going to give this nine, right? This is one of the most chainable areas I think in at least eastern Victoria inner eastern Victoria um, you know there is so many fun little rides you can do um, in this area fun little roads you can make so many good day like you could spend four or five weekends coming out here and exploring and you will find good new roads in this area right um, not to mention there is three or four good roads that turn off this road directly. Um, so yeah, I think that is um, a big thing that this road has going for it, is this huge chainability. Um, yeah, so that, that that's a big one. Speed limit, speed limit's quite low. I can't actually remember what it is, but I just remember it, it is low. Um, maybe we'll see it in a second, but you can definitely comfortably go a lot faster than what in my opinion than what's posted um, obviously don't actively encourage like don't actively encourage speeding um, but it is a road where you can be singing the speed limit the entire time and almost have no issues yeah um, so I'm not sure um, 
how we're going for time and just checked and we're kind of smack bang on the right amount of time so we're going to loop rounds um, so I can test the road to see whether I'm going to do a rate my road on it up straight after I finish recording this um, yeah so overall so I gave Mountain Highway a 5 for intermediate riders and 8 for beginners. Um, this one I'm kind of going to get just, just one rating of 7. It's a really good road. I have no complaints for it whatsoever. Um, that was the dude coming the other way before, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, it is a really fun road. Um, you know, there's lots of twists, lots of turns. High visibility too. Right? Like how I talked about there not being that much traffic and then we're stuck behind a moving man. He's actually pushing it a lot harder than I thought it would be. Um, yeah, so yeah, so overall 7 out of 10, really good road. Recommend adding it to your trips if you ever come out in the eastern suburbs. Um, yeah, and if you're an international viewer that's watching these, which I remember looking at my analytics, apparently there's some people in Canada that like my videos. Um, if you ever come to Australia, you know some places in Victoria, if you rent a bike to come and go to. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed today's video, um, today's Rent My Ride. Uh, see once again the Emerald Bonbok and Bonbok Emerald Road. I can't remember which order it goes in. Um, out in Emerald Bonbok, connecting those two. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give us, you know, give us, give us a like and subscribe and some comments, suggest some roads, especially in Eastern Victoria. Um, I'm always happy to ride out and check them out um, and then do, do another day where I come out and make another one of these videos for you. Uh, I'm hoping that you know people will watch these and go hey I'm gonna ride that or hey I didn't really think about it this way or hey yeah that's right you know basically comment if you agree if you've ridden this road before. Alrighty. I will see you all in the next video. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the recent dirt bike videos as well. And I will see, make sure to suggest some ideas for criteria for the dirt bike videos too. Alrighty, I will catch you guys next time.